Okay, so right now what I'd like to do is make a rhombi icosadodecahedron. And so that's defined by essentially a pentagon surrounded by squares and triangles. And so you've got lots of them. But the bottom line is it really looks like a dodecahedron in some ways. So pentagonal dodecahedron or a regular dodecahedron. Anyway, there it is. And I'm going to make it right now. And to help maybe see it a little bit, what I'm going to do is use my guys here, which are dark, and then I've got a few other ones here. But essentially, I'm going to make uh, 12 pentagons, okay? Thanks. So I'm going to make six black and six um, nickel. And they're not really black, are they? I don't know. Dark. And there we go. Okay, so you take one of these the dark ones, and I'm going to surround it by the light ones, okay? Oops, came apart, back together. And so, so it's three pentagons meeting at one, and so the other ones are just sort of making up the squares and the triangles, the other connections, okay? So that's what I have so far. One dark pentagons surrounded by all light pentagons. Now I'm just going to put a layer of dark pentagons in here. And so you want to line it up like that. So here's a layer. Ooh, snaps in there. And then, oops, connect that up. Another one here. Bring it around. And then finally my last dark pentagon. Bring it in there. Connect up. And then finally, the last one. And kaboom. And so you can see here how it's set up. A pentagon, a row of dark pentagons, followed by a row of light pentagons and a dark one. So that's how you make it. And it's not that hard to make, as you can see. Uh, a little bit harder to see maybe the pattern when you have it in all one color, but essentially, there you have it. Cheers. Oh, look, they didn't break. <laughs> anyway, these are quite sturdy. Good luck with making that. Cheers.